welcome and a welcome back to my channel um it has been so long i don't know if i'm going to record and put out any video before this one but i know for a fact that i am recording this video at least three months before it's going to actually be published <laughs> and this video will be my first trimester pregnancy update yes your girl is prego uh, let me do a quick bump shot so yes i am doing a first trimester pregnancy update but obviously i'm no longer in my first trimester i'm actually in my third trimester <laughs> but you know how pregnancy goes i'm just getting around to filming this video it doesn't really matter though because y'all ain't seen this until after i have the baby <laughs> so i'm actually going to be filming all three trimester updates well maybe not today i'm only a couple of weeks into my third trimester now so i'm actually going to wait until and I'm going to post my second hospital bag video or film my second hospital bag video to film my third trimester update. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first I want to talk about the trying to conceive journey just a little bit. Um, I don't want to go too in-depth into it in case you guys want a video about my journey trying to conceive this baby because it was very different when trying to conceive my first. So, <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to know more about um, trying to conceive and how my husband and I did get pregnant with or second baby together then you guys can let me know in the comment section below but yes this baby was a hundred percent planned um this video is going to be posted like i said after i have the baby and it's going to be weird at the times because i can't actually say that next year and stuff because it would actually not be next year by the time you guys see the video so uh i'm rambling okay so my husband and i decided that we wanted to try to have another baby around last year november so at time of filming bear in mind it's november 2022 now so at around october november 2021 that's when my husband and i decided that we were going to try for another baby <laughs> at the time i was on birth control so you, you guys know i had to stop i think i came off of birth control around this time last year i don't remember exactly if it wasn't november it was december yeah and then we started trying to conceive in january of 2022 now like i said i'm not going to go into details in our trying to conceive journey because that can be a whole nother video for a whole other day but it did take longer to conceive this baby than it did with our first so we tried for around five months and then i got pregnant <laughs> So I found out that I was pregnant at the end of May 2022 um, just like with my first because my first was planned as well um, I started uh, testing on the day of my missed period so this is where the differences between my two pregnancies start coming out with my first, when I did the test on the day of my miscarriage, I immediately got a big fat positive, like a big fat <laughs> decline. I'm actually going to insert a picture of my son's test. Lord, if I remember <laughs> over here, 
and that test is the day when I took it in the bathroom at school because I was in uni when I did get pregnant with my son but with this baby and I don't think I'm going to actually insert a picture um, if I do decide to it will pop up somewhere on the screen but the first test that I took with this baby it was very very faint so I was wondering if I got my ovulation off or something because I do track my periods using the flow app and I actually paid for premium during this time when I was trying to conceive so if you are also trying to conceive you will know what DPUs are if you don't know this is what it means so I started testing essentially at 14 DPU and I did, got a very very faint line at 15 16 DPO it was negative on the day of my missed period but obviously I didn't get my period which is abnormal because my period is always on time and I had been getting symptoms prior I will be talking about the symptoms later to I'm um, getting the big fat positive um, I did eventually get my big fat positive at 18, 19 DPU and I'm going to insert a picture of that here. So yes, that's how I found out I was pregnant with baby number two. <laughs> so I just want to talk a little bit more about the symptoms. Um, this is the first trimester update so I don't expect this video to be too too long. Um, I found out I was pregnant at basically four weeks because you are already a month pregnant by the time you find out you are. So I found out at four weeks and I think you can see around three days. My initial symptom was the fatigue. I was so exhausted like all the time every single day sleep 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 so <laughs> so exhausted um i had really really bad heartburn which was the first symptom that i had with my first which is how i knew that i was pregnant before i actually took a test heartburn was so bad <laughs> in the second trimester update i'm actually going to let you guys know how i dealt with that because even now being in my third trimester I still deal with it and it is not fun at all super duper bad heartburn I didn't get nauseous um that didn't surprise me though well at first because with my son my first son I started getting nauseous at eight weeks so I was two months along before I started getting morning sickness and I had expected that to repeat itself with this pregnancy. However, it actually didn't. <laughs> I never got nauseous in my first trimester with this baby at all, which was a blessing, but the fatigue has been crazy. So I have been so tired and the heartburn has been insane. Um, where sleeping was concerned, I want to say it was impacted my sleep was impacted I was actually getting more sleep in my first trimester I was definitely more emotional and cranky though if I didn't get my sleep <laughs> that's like I do work from home if you guys want to see a video about working from home while pregnant as well you guys can let me know in the comment section obviously by the time you guys see this video i would have already had the baby so i would be on mat leaf and i would be able to film all of this lovely video to you guys <laughs> so yeah um let's see what else so i was really tired my sleep was not impacted i never got any morning sickness so that was the biggest difference between my pregnant this pregnancy and my first pregnancy. With the first pregnancy, I had morning sickness for two months straight. So I had it from eight months, eight weeks, 
some months, weeks, to around 16, 17 weeks. And with this pregnancy, I really didn't have any nausea at all in my first trimester. Um, my appetite didn't change. I didn't have any food aversions. I had severe food aversions in my first. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Terrible, terrible food aversions in my first. But this pregnancy, I would say that I had more cravings than aversions. Definitely, definitely spicy food and sour candy. That's a trend for me. So I couldn't get enough of that. <clears throat> um, water. My water intake, I would say, dramatically decreased during that time because I was just not effing with water at all. I, I guess you can say that was my only aversion. Which is weird because I'm usually a big water drinker. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. But yeah, like I said, um, this video isn't going to be very long. The first trimester isn't really remarkable. I didn't announce at all to anybody apart from my family in the first trimester. Um, I basically did the same with my first. So that's a tradition for me. So honestly, that was my first trimester. It was really uneventful. Um, I don't have any products to show because I didn't start using anything in the first trimester wait um one thing i do like to do is i try to avoid stretch marks at all costs <laughs> so with my first and with this pregnancy immediately as i got the positive test i started moisturizing my stomach so i'm going to actually show you guys what i do during my pregnancies to moisturize just a moment so yeah this is what I used, um, good old fashioned perlene cocoa butter. I also used this with my first pregnancy, but I used the taller bottle. Um, I haven't been able to find the tall bottle since I've been pregnant with this baby. I don't know if, you know, I'm just not going to the same places or what, but this is the one that I use. Smells amazing. This is the second jar. And I'm actually going to get up top of, of this this weekend. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and listening to me basically ramble about my first trimester because that's honestly what the first trimester feels like, a big ramble. So that's all I can do, ramble about it. <laughs> So do stay tuned, I will be posting my second trimester update a week after you guys see this video, so stay tuned for that. Bye guys!